We're asked to use the graph of f of x below to determine the function outputs and inputs. We're first asked to determine f of two, where two is the input or x value, and we want to find the output or corresponding y value. And because we find the inputs or x values along the horizontal axis, we locate two on the horizontal axis, and then find that point on the graph where the input or x value is two. So we go straight up to the graph. Here is the point on the graph where the input or x is equal to two. And notice how the corresponding output or y value is positive five. This indicates that when the input is two, the output or function value is five, and therefore f of two is equal to five. Next, we want to determine f of negative four. The input or x value is negative four. Here is negative four on the horizontal or x axis. So we go down to the graph to find the point on the graph where the input or x value is negative four. And notice how the corresponding output or y value is negative one. When the input is negative four, the output is negative one, and therefore f of negative four is equal to negative one. So remember, function values are y values or outputs. Next, we're asked to determine x or the input for the given function values or outputs. Here we're given f of x equals four. We want to determine x or the input. Because we are given f of x equals four, we are given the output or y value of four. So now we locate four on the vertical or y axis, which is here, and then find the point on the graph where the function value or y value is four. So we move to the right. This is the point on the graph where the function value or y value is four. Notice the x value or input is positive one. So because this ordered pair is one comma four, this tells us when the function value or y value is four, the input or x value is one. So if f of x equals four, x equals one. Next we're given f of x equals negative three. We want to determine the input or x value. Because f of x equals negative three, the output or y value is negative three. Here's negative three on the vertical or y axis. And now we find that point on the graph where the y value or function value is negative three. So we go to the left. This is the point on the graph where the output or y value is negative three. Notice how the x value or input is negative six. Because this ordered pair is negative six comma negative three, we know when the function value or y value is negative three, the input or x is negative six. I hope you found this helpful.